these are all the movies that the Richfield Park Library just got within the last couple of days. I believe we got this shipment in uh, Friday of last week, so I had to wait a little bit just to get all these ready. But these movies are good to go, so if any one of you guys uh, wants them, um, by all means, feel free to stop at the library. Now, I know some of you might be saying, oh, I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime, whatever. But as anyone can tell you, like, not everything that you think is available on those uh, platforms is available on those platforms. What I always recommend is uh, check the uh, BCC Plus website, give us a call, and um, we'll always take a look off for you to see if we have them. Uh, a lot of times um, we get these movies before uh, Amazon or Netflix does. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look and see what we have. Um, like I said, we've got a whole bunch, and these run the range between uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, we even have some 4K uh, in there too. So if you wanna um, show off, um, why you spent uh, four thousand dollars on that last uh, TV you purchased, and if you want to really wow your friends and family, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things here that you might enjoy. So let's get started. All right, first and foremost, we have Little Women by Greta Gerwig. Um, I think this is the fourth version of Little Women that we have in this library. I think we might have more. Uh, it's gonna be really fun when we start cataloging these uh, and try to figure out how to differentiate between this and all the other versions of Little Women that people grew up on. I heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, Greta Gerwig is a filmmaker I'm really interested in uh, following, and it has a whole bunch of actresses I really love in here. So yeah, um, this is up for you guys. Hey, speaking of things based on uh, classic books, um, Doolittle with uh, Robert Downey Jr. I think this came out in theaters right before the pandemic hit. I haven't uh, gotten a chance to see it, but my mom used to read us uh, Dr. Doolittle when we were younger, and I really like Robert Downey Jr. So if nothing else, this would be like a fun uh, romp. All right, here's something a little bit different. Harlock, Space Pirate. Um, this is a movie I had heard about um, years ago, and nobody in the system had a copy. So I was able to find one, and I added it into the library uh, so people can uh, take a look and see what it is. This is a um, Japanese uh, movie, but it's 100% computer generated. Like uh, if you've ever seen Avatar or any Pixar films, um, this is in the same vein, except uh, because it deals with a space pirate, it's a lot more um, epic, I guess, it would be the proper word for it. But um, hey, if nothing else, uh, give this a shot. Um, I highly recommend this for people who remember watching a show called Star Blazers when they were younger. So. Oh, Ip Man 4, the finale with uh, Donnie Yen. Um, we have the other three Ip Man movies uh, in the collection. If you've never seen them, yeah, this is a martial arts uh, series that's based off of the life of a real guy, uh, Ip Man, um, who was um, a Wing Chun uh, practitioner back in like um, 1930s uh, China, and he immigrated to America, and he became a teacher here in the States. And one of his most famous uh, disciples was Bruce Lee. Um, Donnie Yen acts the heck out of this uh, movie. It's really fun. If you like good martial arts movies, if you like tales of uh, immigrants and people coming to terms with things and um, achieving uh, against all odds, um, this is a good series to watch. Oh, what else we've got here in the news section? Oh, The Gentleman by Guy Ritchie. Uh, Guy Ritchie has his fans. I used to be one of them, but um, one of those things, like when you're in high school and you're uh, watching a lot of movies, Guy Ritchie's uh, definitely was someone you come across. Um, this looks really fun. Like, it has uh, a lot of actors I really like in it, especially Charlie Hunnam from um, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I really enjoyed him. Uh, Henry Golden from um, Crazy Rich Asians. Um, and if nothing else, this looks like a really fun crime caper or, uh, because that's what Guy Ritchie's uh, good at. Okay, this one, uh, I didn't know that we didn't own a copy of it. And oh boy, this, uh, you want to talk about a loaded, loaded movie. Um, if you've never seen The Birth of a Nation, um, it's terrible. It's uh, kind of, um, you know, uh, controversial for a reason, but at the same time, 
this is one of the most influential movies in American history, uh, for better or for worse. Um, this is a Blu-ray uh, copy, but it is the most recent um, restoration done of this movie that is over a hundred years old. And yes, I did say a hundred. Uh, came out in 1915. And um, you'll see a lot of things in this movie that are upsetting but at the same time there are things in this movie that are also used in a lot of movies that we see today so a lot of things that I think we take for granted came from this movie uh, like I said it's um, terrible it's upsetting and uh, if you consider yourself a uh, film nerd if you really like cinema um, everyone for better or for worse uh, should watch this movie all right other stuff, news, uh, the last full measure. Um, I'd heard about this movie. Um, it's based off of a, a story about a Vietnam War uh, soldier who was denied the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor. And it, there was like this, um, it, like his whole uh, story was completely hidden from uh, people. And yeah, uh, they turned it into a movie. I'm really curious to see um, how this movie is. Uh, I really like all the uh, actors uh, listed up here um, and yeah I like um, good movies that tell me about stories that um, although based in reality are things that we probably have never heard so yeah um, looking forward to this one huh, The Turning um, hey that's the kid from Stranger Things um, I think just looking at this uh, cover uh, can you tell it's a horror movie I mean come on guys I mean you got the creepy kids, you got the uh, the witch fingers, uh, I'm assuming that's a witch finger, um, and yeah, the whole, like, subtle, not too subtle uh, tagline. Uh, yeah, I, uh, outside of this being based off of a book, I'm not too sure what this movie's about, but, you know, if I'm in the mood for a good horror movie, maybe, or even a bad horror movie, maybe I'll watch this. Oh, speaking of horror... The Omen Collection. Um, some of you may have seen this. Uh, believe it or not, as much as I enjoy uh, horror movies as well as movies based on books. Yeah, this is based on a book. Huh, who'd have thought? Um, I've never actually seen uh, all of the Omen movies. And luckily, we now have uh, a collection that has um, all five uh, Omen movies, uh, including the uh, remake that came out in 2006. So this is like as complete of a complete set you can get. Um, like if any of you guys want to have like a horror movie marathon, um, by all means, um, this might be uh, worth uh, popping into your Blu-ray player. Is it Blu-ray? Yep, it's Blu-ray. So yeah. Oh, and speaking of horror, we just get a lot of those. Underwater with uh, Kristen Stewart. Uh, I, this kind of just like popped up and I completely forgot this came out in theaters, like at the beginning of the year. And from what I've heard, it's actually not that bad. Like, um, I've heard people say that this is actually a legit good uh, thriller. Um, Kristen Stewart, I know a lot of you guys remember her from Twilight. Um, that's where I remember her uh, from. Oh my god, that was so long ago now that I think about it. But um, Kristen Stewart's actually a legit good actress, and I'm uh really interested to see uh how she is uh in this movie i mean it kind of seems like an alien knockoff but you know i've been wrong before all right going to classics dance girl dance by dorothy arzner and uh, starring maureen o'hara and lucille ball um this is the movie that uh, basically helped launch uh, lucille ball's um career i mean i know a lot of everybody knows her for i love lucy but you know, some people forget that she was a legitimate uh, film star before um, she became um, a sitcom star. Um, but Dorothy Arzner, uh, she's interesting because in the 1930s uh, into the early 40s, she was the only female director working in the Hollywood studio system. And this movie, um, I had a film professor show this to us in our History of Cinema class, and everyone really enjoyed it. Um, it's a really, uh, if I remember correctly, fun look at the um, inner workings of show business where you have uh, one uh, character who is the up-and-coming starlet and then you have another character who is uh, like the star already and she 
uh, threatens to overshadow the uh, younger person. So yeah, it's uh, this is a good movie, especially for people who are looking into classics. And it is a DVD, so you could watch it on pretty much anything. Oh, well, speaking of classics, here's one that my dad uh, always used to show me, The Great Escape. Uh, I don't think this movie needs uh, an introduction, but if you've never seen The Great Escape, I mean, what have you been doing? Um, Criterion puts out a lot of really good classics. I mean, that's that's the name of their game. But um, uh, when they put out a movie that's so well known, like The Great Escape, I always wonder, like, um, why? What does their um, choosing behind it? Because they're mainly known for art house and foreign films. But um, something like The Great Escape, they must have seen something in this movie that I might have missed the first time I watched it. But yeah, I love this movie. And uh, if you're in the mood for good uh world war ii escapist <laughs> no well actually uh, that's a lie the pun was completely intended yeah definitely give this a watch 1619 up from slavery a 14 part documentary series i think it pretty much says it all right here um this i had ordered just because um i know that there have been some people who have been interested uh recently about the history of um slavery in america and the history of african-american uh, culture, how it started, um, like all the ramifications behind uh, how African Americans were brought into this uh, country. Uh, it is not a short documentary series, but it is really good. I really enjoyed this. Uh, and, you know, it's always good to find a good documentary out there about any subject. Uh, a good uh, documentary filmmaker can uh, turn anything interesting and uh, I'm really excited to give this uh, a rewatch but that there all right back to the new we got Just Mercy with Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx and Brie Larson I have heard really good things uh, about this movie and that makes me happy because uh, it is based off of a really good book too and if you've never read the book we have a copy, so well, I think we have multiple copies at this point, so uh, please feel free to check it out. But um, yeah, this, uh, like, I might need to check this out before I give it to you guys, but nah, I don't think I can. If any one of you wants this uh, movie, definitely give it a shot. Uh, I'm purposely avoiding telling too much about it because I think one of the reasons why I really enjoyed this uh, book was because I didn't know much about it. Someone just gave it to me and said, here, you should read this, and yeah. Um, Really, really excited about that. All right, for all you 4K lovers, uh, if you have never seen a Mission Impossible movie, you should definitely rectify that. Uh, if you have a 4K uh, television and you really want to show off just how beautiful things can look, um, you can't do better than this collection here. Um, this is all six of the movies that have been uh, released every, uh, from the first film all the way up to Mission Impossible Fallout. Um, I was watching this and holy god uh, does it look beautiful on 4K. Uh, we actually also own this on Blu-ray as well and the Blu-ray set also looks really good. So if you want to have a Mission Impossible movie marathon, I mean I guess now is the time to do it. Uh, I will be more than happy to loan this out to people. Um, yeah, this is so much fun to watch. Also, since it's we're talking about 4K and it's in the summer. Who can forget one of the most important uh, summer movies of all time, Jaws. This, now, I know everyone, statistically speaking, has probably seen Jaws at least once in their life. So why did we get a 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray? Yeah, so this has Blu-ray and 4K. So if you don't have a 4K player, you could still play it on Blu-ray. Um, why we got this? Well, this is the 45th anniversary um, edition. And yeah, it's been 45 years since Jaws uh, first came out. And I think that um, if you haven't seen Jaws in a while, you should definitely give it a watch. If you've never seen Jaws, definitely watch it. I mean, everyone has to see this movie. Um, and like I said, if you're a classic uh, film nerd like myself, and if you want to see Jaws in like the best possible way it's ever looked, I mean, uh, I was watching this and um, the, I think the ocean look more realistic in this movie than it does in real life but um yeah definitely give this a watch all right speaking of classics that are also available on 4k and blu-ray stanley kubrick's uh, the shining based off of uh, stephen king's book um many of you are most probably familiar with uh this movie starring 
uh, Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. Um, but yeah, this is the most recent um, edition of this film. So if you haven't uh, seen this in a while, and if you want to see it in a beautifully restored uh, version, definitely uh, check this out. I mean, um, yeah, the film takes place in winter and it's the summer, so I know that uh, it might be a little bit off season, but you know, um, never uh, it's never the wrong time of year for a horror movie is what I say. <laughs> oh, speaking of stuff based off of Stephen King books, we have Maximum Overdrive. This movie is so wild. It is so crazy. Just look at the cover. I mean, you know, um, this is based off of a short story by Stephen King. I think it is only like eight pages long. And this movie has the um, honor? Um, no, nah, I'm just going to say distinction, whether honorable or otherwise, being uh, the first full-length feature film directed by Stephen King uh, himself. I mean, somebody thought that, uh, I think it was Dino De Laurentiis, who was just like, well, everybody's uh, adapting Stephen King works. Well, I'm going to do one better and actually get Stephen King. And Stephen King made a movie about trucks that run people over after they get a mind of their own. Yeah, it's crazy, but um, this is the collector's edition on Blu-ray, so I'm really excited to see what all the extras are on here, if nothing else. And, you know, I haven't seen this movie in a while, so I might be surprised. All right, newer stuff. Oh, Harley Quinn, the complete first season. Uh, for those of you guys who uh, do not know, I think this is... Um, uh, an animated series that is on the uh, DC Universe uh, streaming service. Um, I don't have a DC Universe. I know some people who do, but they say that the content that's on there is actually really fun and is really good. So Harley Quinn is an animated show for adults centering around uh, Harley Quinn, who some of you might remember from the movie Suicide Squad or from the more recent movie uh, Birds of Prey. Um, her basic deal is that she is a... Um, crazy supervillain who is in love with the Joker. Yeah. Uh, did I mention this was based off of a comic book? Um, <laughs> so, it, if you want something fun that makes uh, absolute uh, makes an absolute mockery of uh, superheroes and comic books and stuff, um, this is really fun and it's really worth uh, giving a look. Um, don't be fooled by the fact it's a cartoon. It's definitely for older audiences. Alright, back to classics. Hey, Showboat by James Whale. Do you know James Whale was the director of Frankenstein? Well, this is um, a Showboat, um, another one of his uh, classic films um, based off of the musical of the same uh, name. If you've never seen the musical, I mean, you guys have definitely heard the song Old Man River. Um, this is where that's from. Uh, I have not seen this movie in forever, and uh, this is another Criterion release, so I am stoked to jump back into it but again if any of you guys are fans of classic musicals classic movies uh i think this one might be well oh no wait we have birth of a nation in the pile uh never mind but yeah from 1936 um definitely give this a shot all right back to horror movies based off of books um the woman starring uh pollyanna mcintosh um i think she's from the walking dead if anybody uh has ever seen that show um the woman is Oh God, another woman. Um, it was a one of the few horror novels I had tried reading and put down when I realized that uh, just how crazy the story was. It's based off of um, a novel of the same name by uh, the late Jack Ketch, uh, who was known for writing like these really, really outlandish uh, horror books. And um, this is an adaptation of one of those. So. Yeah, I'm really, uh, I, hey, if any one of you guys wants this ahead of me, by all means, I am not going to object. But yeah, I'm, we're the only library in the system that has a copy, so, you know, curiosity's worth it. And it's free. Oh, here's a, a movie based off of a book that some of you might have actually read. Um, Flowers in the Attic by um, V.C. Andrews. Um, that was one uh, weird book. It made for a very weird movie. Um, 
and yeah, we have a copy on a Blu-ray nonetheless. Um, I should mention that with uh, this and with The uh, Woman, both of these movies are put out by Arrow, and they put, uh, go out of their way to include so many special uh, features with their releases. So they're kind of similar to Criterion in the sense that they uh, go all out with the films that they release, but um, Arrow concentrates more on cult classics and movies that people may have half remembered. Uh, they put out like a lot of crime movies, science fiction, fantasy, and uh, horror. But yeah, uh, these are two of the uh, Arrow releases we have. And this one here too is also an Arrow release. Uh, this is the One Miscalled Trilogy. Um, this is a series of Japanese uh, horror films from like the late 90s, early 2000s, I wanna say. Um, each one of the uh, films was directed by a different uh, filmmaker, um, and this is really creepy. It's basically about uh, an urban legend revolving around, um, well, phone calls, and if you get a phone call at a very specific time, um, you're dead. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, uh, weird, but uh, a lot of Japanese horror films tend to be weird but also very interesting oh yeah the first one's from uh, 2003 um they tried to turn this into an american film and yeah the american film um less said about the better so uh but this is all three of the films uh released for the first time in america on blu-ray um so this is another one paired with the omen would make for uh a good horror marathon for all you lovers all right one last film and what have we Huh. So yeah, these are all the movies that we have uh, here at Ritual Park. Again, this is just from one delivery that we got uh, in a, a day. So I mentioned this because as the library is closed um, to the public, that doesn't mean that we've stopped operations. We have this and so much more uh if you heard a doorbell ringing in the background that probably means that we got another delivery today so you know if you are star for movies if you miss going to the theater and if you just don't want to spend money on something to keep you entertained you know we got you covered so until next time richfield park happy reading and um happy watching